Now on 4 News Now at 6, get ready to break out those sweatshirts again because I am tracking a big cool down on the way. I'll let you know how chilly it's going to get in your first alert forecast. And addressing the youth mental health crisis, we take a look at the impact one behavioral health clinic is having in Northeast Spokane. Plus, a push to make Spokane more pedestrian friendly will break down one man's billion dollar plan to achieve that goal coming up. You're watching 4 News Now at 6. Well, we hope you enjoyed the 70 degree day because we have a major cool down on the way. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Derek Dice has the night off. Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker joining me now. You said 20 degree drop? Yes, um, actually maybe a little bit more than a 20 degree Ooh. drop for tomorrow. We're just dropping back down to average, but still it is gonna be a little bit of a shock. Here's a live look right now from our downtown sky cam over the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena, the Spokane County Courthouse at a beautiful evening in progress. Winds are starting to pick up a little bit and that is the trend. Here's a look at our highs across the region today. I look at all of the 70s, including 73 in Spokane. That's the warmest it's been so far this season. Not quite a record. 75 is our record high for today, but awfully close. 77 in Moses Lake and Omak did make it into the 80s in the Tri-Cities. It was 70 in Coeur d'Alene and in the upper 60s in Bonners Ferry, Sandpoint, St. Mary's and Pullman. Here are our highs for tomorrow. So yes, it is going to be a 20 degree drop in many locations. We'll be in the 50s, but again, this is not necessarily uh, cool. This is just about average for this time of year. We're gonna see a little bit less sunshine as well. Here's what's going on. I'm starting off our forecast radar at our current time. We have a cold front just now crossing the Cascades that will pass through tonight. Here's midnight tonight. We have the potential for some showers and even an isolated thunderstorm as this front moves through from the Palouse up through the central panhandle. Dry in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, but as we get into tomorrow morning, we may see a few showers developing, uh, but it is going to be very, very light rain and mainly over the higher terrain tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, winds are already starting to pick up. 24 mile per hour gusts in Spokane, also breezy in Spokane Valley, and that will be the case overnight through tomorrow morning. Not windy, wind gusts in the 25 mile per hour range. Meanwhile, this evening, enjoy temperatures still in the 60s at 7 o'clock. We'll be in the 50s uh, at 9 and 11 with the winds again picking up a little bit as we get into the late evening. I will be back with some wetter weather in the seven-day forecast and have your weekend outlook. That's in just a few minutes, Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. Well, time is running out for those impacted by the Gray and Oregon Road fires to apply for FEMA assistance and loans. The deadline is April 20th. Disaster recovery centers are open in Medical Lake and Elk to help people navigate the system in person. Last month, a FEMA official said it has sent out nearly $3 million to Spokane County fire victims. FEMA encourages people trying to get assistance to be persistent and to visit those recovery centers in person. We have a link to sign up for aid on KXLY.com right now. Well, it's been four years since the start of the pandemic, and a new study shows just how severely it impacted young people's mental health. New data shows an increase in severe emergency room psychiatric visits for children and teenagers. According to the CDC, nearly 60% of girls reported feeling sad or hopeless, compared to 30% that reported that were boys and the U.S. Surgeon General says the pandemic had a devastating impact on children's mental health. So what can you do if your child is struggling? Experts say create a supportive environment for them. This includes things like spending time with them, doing some of their favorite activities together, acknowledging and respecting your child's feelings and regularly asking them how they are doing. According to the CDC, mental health services in schools also plays a part in addressing the nation's mental health crisis. Unfortunately, many simply don't have the services to support students, especially in underserved communities. Hunter Bertram has details on one local community that's historically struggled to fulfill mental health needs. 
89%. That's the percentage of students that are on financial assistance programs at Regal Elementary in the Hillier neighborhood. I've worked on this campus for a little over a decade, and so like I've seen all the changes that have happened. A neighborhood that has experienced change, but lacks change in establishing crucial services until now. I think we've, we've picked a great spot, and that's showing to be true. For some, it's easy to drive to the South Hill or downtown when needing services. But when you don't have a car or a babysitter, that just can't happen. We have a lot of folks who are local and they come here and they just express such joy in being able to bus here, bike here, walk here. And so having that kind of local access to behavioral health is something this community's never seen. In October, this behavioral health clinic opened in partnership of funding by MultiCare, state and local government, and you. The 2021 Heartstrings Benefit by MultiCare raised the funds to develop this clinic in Hilliard, changing the future of health care in the area. A woman that grew up here that's now a mom said that she wishes she had a service like this as she struggled herself with mental health issues. I struggled with my mental health in high school a lot and um, I, if I would have had resources when I was younger that I, I think it would help me a lot. Further telling me knowing that her kids and others in the area have access to this service means everything. Adding this could set our children on the right track for life. Helping kind of break down that barrier that has existed for so long with people and so they really are, are understanding better that it's not a big scary thing. It's something that can be really helpful and it's just right next door. MultiCare said the clinic has seen over 600 patients so far, telling me they work with anyone to eliminate financial barriers. In Northeast Spokane, Hunter Bertram, 4 News Now. New details tonight about the house fire in West Central Spokane that led to a man being shot and killed by police. This all happened near West Dean and North Oak. And during the investigation, officers looked into whether the fire was intentionally set. That's why officers arrested this man, 43-year-old Nicholas Whitney. According to court documents, Whitney told one of the people who lived in the home that he called his cousins to set the house on fire. Court documents go on to say one of them discovered a fire Fire started in the bathroom and quickly put it out. A second fire was found on the second floor. The victims tried to put it out with a garden hose. Whitney is now facing six counts of arson. Once fire crews managed to get that fire under control, police started questioning everyone who was inside of the home. And police claim one man later identified as 38-year-old Alan Jenks was not cooperating and walked away. When they tried to detain Jenks, police say he fired his gun. Two officers then returned fire, killing Jenks. The officers involved are currently on administrative leave. It is almost tax day. Coming up, we'll tell you about a free event that makes sure you have everything you need when you need to submit your papers to the IRS. Download the KXLY Plus app on your connected TV. Diamonds and Dreams is proudly sponsored by Camp Chevrolet in Spokane. From Lincoln Center Theater that brought you The King and I and South Pacific comes a sumptuous new revival of the most perfect musical of all time, My Fair Lady. The New York Times calls it thrilling, glorious, and better than it ever was. Bartlett Shear's glowing production is enthralling. Don't miss the smashing, jubilant Lincoln Center Theater production of My Fair Lady. April 2nd through 7th at First Interstate Center for the Arts. Tickets on sale now at broadwayspokane.com. What's cooking tomorrow morning on TMA? It smells so good. So good. Valerie Bertinelli is here live. I'm happy what you're having. And she's going to share something so delicious and so easy to make. I love you, Valerie. Only on Good Morning America. Do you want more? Do you want to make more? Build more? See more? Do more? That's what we do. Lewis Clark State College's School of Career and Technical Education can help you reach your full potential in a career you love. Whether it's managing the front desk in our hospitality management program or the help desk in information technology. You'll find your career and you'll find your more at LC State. Scholarships are available. Apply now. We ran China glassworks, tents, barbecues, flatware, linens, dance floors. 
staging tables change. A to Z rental, no job too big, no job too small. Jackhammer, stem doors, washers, stump grinders, saws, generators, skid steer, excavator, dingoes, trailers, tractors, nailers, staplers, hole diggers, tillers, mowers, yard men, aerators. Call A to Z rental at 509-924-2000 or go to rent a to z dot com. We rent everything, man. Now open in Airway Heights. At A to Z rental, we rent everything. My name is Connie, and I have stage 3 breast cancer. I'm an RN, and I've been working for several years in the profession, so I decided that I wanted to seek out a second opinion. I think getting a second opinion is vitally important. I went to Summit Cancer. Everybody in the facility treats me like I am the only one they're looking after. I would highly recommend Summit Cancer Centers. You work hard for your money, and now you can get money back on state taxes you already paid with the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. It is spring break for many, and what better time to file your taxes? If you don't know where to start, the local nonprofit SNAP is hosting a resource carnival this Friday to help you out. Maurice Rio spoke with a SNAP representative today and shares what people can expect at Friday's carnival. That's right, Kirsten. The Resource Carnival will be here at the Hive on Sprig from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And like you said, it's spring break, so a lot of families have the kids at home, and that's exactly why SNAP chose to host a carnival. While the adults get connected to the resources that they need, kids can be over here in this area, and there will be free food, face painting, a photo booth, and more. This carnival is done in partnership with the Hive, who couldn't be happier to help provide services to the community. SNAP says it wanted to make this a sort of one-stop shop. I personally know it's almost impossible to leave the house without spending some amount of money. Um, and so we wanted to create an event where everything is entirely free and parents could come get the resources they deserve and their kids could have a free and good time in the process. And one of the main resources, help with filing your taxes and applying for the Working Families Tax Credit. It's a tax credit that's in addition to the earned income tax credits that you would get when you file your taxes federally. This is available to families where if you have at least $1 of income on your uh, 2023 tax return, you're eligible for up to $1,255 back. SNAP says there are just a few items people will need to bring. If they haven't yet filed their taxes, Bring your W-2, bring your um, driver's license, social security card, or ITIN. We'll be able to file your taxes and then apply for the Working Families Tax Credit at the same time. Other resources will also be available. Clients could come and get energy assistance appointments on site. They'll also have the CHAS Mobile Vaccine Clinic where they could get a cold or flu vaccine. DSHS will be here so they could apply for or renew their EBT benefits or different DSHS benefits. Nicole says there will be other vendors at the Hive as well. For a list of those other vendors, you can visit our website at kxly.com. As a reminder, if you live in Spokane County, the deadline to file your taxes has extended to June 17th. If you live outside of Spokane County, the deadline is April 15th. Reporting live in Spokane, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now. Thanks, Marissa. And if you're still looking for more spring break plans, head down to Riverfront Park tomorrow for the Idaho Central Credit Union's Spring Market. Fun for the whole family, shopping, local vendors, food trucks. You can also check out the petting zoo and sidewalk games. Yeah, petting zoo got our attention. <laughs> the market is tomorrow from noon until 6 o'clock. And the weather is going to be different, but not necessarily bad for those outdoor activities. A good 20 degree drop in temperatures, breezy especially in the morning, and it is going to be overcast with the possibility of a sprinkle or two throughout the day. I'll be back with your seven day forecast after the break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Super One Foods. Is your car scratched or damaged after the winter weather? Visit American Way Collision Center to get your vehicle summer ready. With over 60 years of experience, their employees make the quality difference. Come visit American Way Collision Center on Francis. When I was told I had a brain tumor, my life disappeared in a moment. I feared for my future, but even more, I feared for the ones I love. How would they move on without me? How will my 
my doctor told me about the Gamma Knife of Spokane, everything changed. I can get my brain tumor treated in just one day and continue living the life I love. Because of Gamma Knife, I have hope. Every food you love is good food. And the foods we love, they're all a little different. At Yolks, we believe food is meant to be made just the way you like it. So whether it's filling you up, or giving you comfort, or trying something new, it's all good if you're making something you love. Whatever you're into, we've got you at Yolks Fresh Market. Hey Ben, the thermostat's acting up. You work for Bill's Heating and Air. You know how to fix this, right? I just do the commercials. Ben, the AC's broken. Come on, you work for Bill's. You must know something about this. Bro, I'm just their spokesperson. Dude, the furnace is so loud. You work for Bill's Heating. You can fix it, right? You do know I'm a basketball player, right? Bill's Heating and AC is offering financing as low as 0% for five years. Call today. For all your heating and cooling needs, leave it to the real professionals at Bill's. For 10 years, the Fort News Now Extreme Team has been rebuilding and rejuvenating baseball fields. Is yours next? It's that time again. Go to KXOI.com and tell us why your field needs a makeover. Diamonds and Dreams, brought to you by your hometown Chevy dealers and Horizon Credit Union. Is your car scratched or damaged after the winter weather? Visit American Way Collision Center to get your vehicle summer ready. With over 60 years of experience, their employees make the quality difference. Come visit American Way Collision Center on Francis. Here are four things to know about your weather. We have a cold front coming through tonight. It is going to bring showers, possible thunderstorms, mainly south and east of the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area. We have much cooler weather on the way for Wednesday, a good 20 degree drop. And then we have the potential for showers through Sunday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the best chance for rain. Here's a look at our weather pattern. Cold front knocking on the back door right now. That's picking up our winds, dropping our temperatures for tomorrow, and bringing those showers across the region, mainly, as I mentioned, to our south and east from the central panhandle down through the Palouse and the LC Valley. Here's a closer look. We're starting off Wednesday morning at 7 o'clock with the very lightest of rain in Spokane, a sprinkle or two, and then most of that wet weather moves off to the south and east and continues that slow progression through the day. Here's a look at some of the projected rainfall totals. It is not very impressive. Much of the region won't even get a trace. Perhaps a hundredth of an inch in Spokane, five hundredths in Coeur d'Alene. Have to go down to the Palouse, the LC Valley, the Central Panhandle to find a tenth of an inch or more. Right around the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area, uh, many locations just barely getting a sprinkle, a little bit more rain as we head into Coeur d'Alene. Spangle, Hayden, and Spirit Lake. Meanwhile, we have a better chance of rain for Thursday and Friday, up to 60%. Then things start to taper off a little bit for the weekend, a 40% chance of showers on Saturday, and Sunday might be dry. A sprinkle or two is what it looks like right now. Meanwhile, with the clouds and the winds, our morning lows across the region will be fairly warm. These temperatures are about 10 degrees above average in the mid 40s in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, 51 in Lewiston. We'll even be in the mid 40s in Sandpoint and Bonners Ferry. Highs tomorrow, uh, there'd be no complaints if we hadn't been in the 70s with sunshine today. It was such a beautiful spring preview, uh, but we will be back down in the average range for tomorrow with a little bit of a breeze, clouds and possible showers more rain Thursday and Friday, but we'll also get some good long breaks during the day as well. So it's not a complete uh, washout. Lingering showers on Saturday and then a warming and drying trend as we get into next week could be up around 60 degrees by Tuesday. Meanwhile, overnight lows for the next seven days will be above freezing, which will be nice, Kirsten. That's right. I know, something to look forward to. Thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. And while the weather has been 
calm and mild here in the inland northwest. Other parts of the country are dealing with thunderstorms, hail, even tornadoes. ABC's Alexis Christophorus is tracking where this severe weather is headed and has a look at some of the damage left behind. This is the damage left behind after a confirmed EF1 tornado tore through Nelson County, Kentucky this morning, ripping the roof off this building and leaving downed trees in its wake. Emergency crews racing to clean up before another round of storms comes through. It wouldn't surprise me as a few miles long. And this is very typical, a lot of roof damage, a lot of tree damage, twisting and turning of the debris. After causing damage in the nation's heartland Monday, the wild weather now moving east. In all, 57 million Americans facing the threat of severe storms through tonight. In Charleston, West Virginia, sheets of rain. <laughs> Where the National Weather Service issued a tornado watch. <laughs> Some people ducking into a parking garage as the wind and rain whipped through the city. Bricks tumbling from the top of this building onto the street below. In Vanderburg County, Indiana, winds topping 80 miles per hour knocking over trees and power lines. This traffic cam in Lawrence County, Ohio, capturing cars crawling to a near stop with visibility extremely limited. Storms rolling through Williamson County in southern Illinois, causing heavy damage to buildings and triggering multiple tornado warnings. Video from a drone capturing the extent of the damage. The severe weather threat will shift to the East Coast on Wednesday. The National Weather Service predicts strong winds and hail from Virginia and the Carolinas down to East Central Florida. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York. Still ahead, a battle for federal funding in Baltimore. Why some lawmakers say throwing money at the problem isn't the solution. Stay with us. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Have you worked or enjoyed the outdoors in Lincoln County before 2014? You may have been exposed to harmful Libby amphibole asbestos. Get your free asbestos health screening today. Don't wait. Early detection is key. Contact the card clinic at LibbyAsbestos.org. Good morning. Thank you for calling Mainstream Electric Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. How may I help you today? I'm having some problems with my air conditioner. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What sort of problem? Well, it, it, it's making a clingity, clingity, clunk. <laughs> Sound. Oh, no worries. We can certainly take care of that for you. Here at Mainstream Electric Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, we speak your language. When you have moderate to severe eczema, it's okay to show off. With Dupixin, show off your clearer skin and less itch. Because you have plenty of reasons to show off your skin. With Dupixin, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists, you can stay ahead of your eczema. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema to help heal your skin from within. Many adults saw 90% clearer skin. Some even achieved long-lasting clearer skin and fast itch relief after first dose. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Show off to the world. Ask your eczema specialist about Dupixit. today from the Sweet Palace in Phillipsburg, Montana. The savings continue with Bymart's latest savings book. Find it online or pick up a copy in store. Save more store-wide on everything you need for spring and more at Bymart, Northwest employee owned for 20 years. 4 News Now is brought to you by PAR, your total home building source. 
From old cell phones to busted TVs, a recent UN analysis found the amount of electronic waste generated globally is growing five times faster than it can be recycled. This can lead to environmental health and climate concerns. CNN's Michael Yoshida has some tips on how you can safely dispose of your old tech. Small gadgets remain a big problem when it comes to electronic waste. A recent report from the UN finding the recycling rates for small gadgets just around 12% with much of this e-waste ending up at landfills or other places it shouldn't be where the risk of pollution and other harmful health effects are high. From e-cigarettes to broken appliances and old cell phones, global electronic waste or e-waste has reached record highs. Some 68.3 million tons in 2022 alone, according to a recent United Nations report. This equivalent to the weight of over 100,000 of the world's largest passenger aircraft. If you put them together, that's enough to form an unbroken queue from New York to Athens, 5,000 miles. As the world becomes more reliant on electronics, the recycling of gadgets and appliances is not keeping pace, something experts are hoping will change with more awareness. Better managing e-waste means better health. Health for the planet, but also health for ourselves, because a lot of the components in e-waste can be very toxic to humans. Along with environmental and health reasons to recycle, there's a big money incentive too. E-waste often contains rare earth metals. If we had been able to reuse and collect all what is in e-waste, we could have generated over 91 billion US dollar in value just in 2022. So how can you safely recycle your e-waste or give it a second life? Experts say if the gadget is old but still working, see if a friend or a family member wants it. Another option, see if you can trade it in for a new device or credit. And if you do choose to get rid of your item, make sure it goes to a certified recycler. And even though it's something many of us probably have done, the experts we spoke with say we shouldn't just put those old electronics in a drawer on a shelf and forget about them. Besides just taking up space, there are components within them that could be reused or recycled. In Washington, I'm Michael Yoshida reporting. The deadly collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore is having a ripple effect on Capitol Hill. Rebuilding it and getting the critical port of Baltimore back open will require an enormous effort and more federal funding. But some members of Congress are already pushing back against paying for the long road to recovery. You know, the first reaction, in fact, the only reaction just tends to be to spend. I still have Florida farmers from a hurricane a year and a half ago that still aren't getting relief. So the federal government is a partner. Uh, the federal government needs to be, uh, be a partner, uh, but we need to stop playing politics. And that's exactly what the Biden administration has done. Democratic lawmakers from Maryland responding to the criticism. If you go back to, to the time of the Minneapolis bridge uh, collapse, Congress, within a very short period of time, uh, overwhelmingly uh, said the federal government uh, should help. And so we believe that we should come together again as Americans, put aside you know, party labels and get it done. President Biden is scheduled to visit Baltimore Friday to survey damage from the bridge collapse. Around the world tonight, Israel's military chief says a deadly Israeli strike that killed seven aid workers in the Gaza Strip was the result of a misidentification in complex conditions. Those aid workers now join a record number of humanitarian workers who have been killed so far in this conflict. Pressed upon the Israelis the absolute imperative of doing more to protect innocent civilian lives, be they Palestinian children, women and men, or be they aid workers. The aid workers killed were from Australia, Poland, Palestine, the UK, and a dual citizen of the US and Canada. Video of the aftermath shows the vehicle clearly marked with the World Central Kitchen logo on the sides and roof of the van. World Central Kitchen saying, despite coordinating movements with the IDF, the convoy was hit. Going on to say they're now pausing operations immediately in the region. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu speaking out, sending condolences to the victims and their families, saying Israel deeply regrets the tragic incident. Well, we have much more coming up tonight at 6.30, including why millions of low-income families may soon have to pay more for Internet access. Plus, we have the latest on the trial of the man accused of killing his former wife and two of his current wife's children.
Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. So what do you think about these? We're going to take everything from design and products to removal and installation. Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit rebath.com and save $1,500 off your complete bathroom remodel. What's beyond the door to your future? No matter the career, FAFSA can help you get there. Filling out the FAFSA opens doors to the WA grant, the most generous grant available in the United States today. In Washington, a family of four making up to $120,000 could be eligible for free WA grant money when they fill out the FAFSA. So fill out the FAFSA and open doors to your future. Visit launchnw.org slash FAFSA opens doors today. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Lyman. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and my entire practice is dedicated to taking care of patients with knee problems. From ACL and meniscus tears to total knee replacements, I want to make sure you're ready for life's adventures. I'm here to help you master your knee pain and regain your active lifestyle. Visit me at the Orthopedic Sports Institute's new state-of-the-art surgery center in Hayden. Ready to take the first step? Call for a consultation today and let me help guide you to a pain-free future. Call or click today and set up your consultation with Orthopedic Sports Institute. Hi, I'm Matt Gray with 4 News Now. For families with teens and young adults, here are some tips that can teach them more about money management. Talk with your teen about what will happen when they start earning money at a job. Discuss what gross pay versus net pay is and talk through why some money is taken out and what it goes towards. Work on a budget planner so they can figure out a good balance of what should go into a spending account and what should go towards savings. There are lots of great ways to teach your kids about money. For more tips, go to BECU.org. Want to drive? Really? Most of us agree our roads are safer when we put away our phones. But we still have some people to reach. So spread the message. Okay. And set the example. Because that's how we make the road a safer place. For you and your loved ones. Together, we get there. So what do you think about these? We're going to take everything. From up. design and products to removal and installation, Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,500 off your complete bathroom remodel. Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 630. Well, do you feel safe walking around Spokane? If not, you aren't alone. In 2018, it was ranked one of the most dangerous Washington cities for pedestrians. And now, one stay-at-home dad is saying enough is enough. Bronte Sorotsky is downtown with his proposed levy to reimagine Spokane's transportation system. Well, despite multiple school district bonds failing in the last election, one Spokane dad is determined to pass a $1 billion levy aimed at adding more protection to Spokane streets and making it an overall more safe and vibrant city for everyone. Uh, year after year, people are dying more frequently on our streets. And this stay-at-home dad wants to put an end to it. Between 2022 and 2023, the number of people hit by cars in Spokane has gone up by 44%. We got, we got a lot of work to do here in Spokane. That's where his plan to pass a levy, Spokane Reimagined, comes in. It's a $1 billion levy, costing $50 million annually for 20 years, paying for over 140 miles of pedestrian streets, new public restrooms, a 24-hour tram running along First Avenue, and much more. On average, homeowners would pay around $625 the first year, causing some concern about the expense. He's not wrong. There are issues that we have there, but the billion-dollar proposal is, is far too much. Lowe says he wanted to start by laying every option on the table because it's easier to tone things down rather than starting small. Everything in the proposal can be done for much cheaper with the exception of the tram because trams and permanent physical infrastructure like that uh, sort of they're gonna have fixed costs. Still there is a concern that this proposal is asking for too much too soon. And if money were no object we could certainly get there faster but uh, you know we have to do what we can with within our means. 
Now to get this measure to the voters, Lowe would either need to get enough signatures to get the measure on the ballot or city council would have to place the levy on the ballot. Neither of these have happened yet. Reporting live in Spokane, Bronte Sarotsky, 4 News Now. Well, heads up, if you are visiting Pullman from now through October, a huge construction project is happening downtown. The city of Pullman is redesigning Main Street to make it more people-friendly, fix infrastructure, and slow down traffic. People will still have access to walk downtown to local businesses, but owners there are nervous about the impact six months of construction can have on their shops. Hear their concerns and see the full detour map in this story on KXLY.com. Let's send it on over to Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker now, who's tracking a major change in our weather. Yes, a big drop in our temperatures for Wednesday. First, let's gaze uh, over our beautiful view here from 500 West Boone Avenue over the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena, the Spokane County Courthouse at a gorgeous evening sky, and temperatures today made it into the 70s. We have some changes coming, though. Here's a broad view on our satellite and radar. We see a cold front making its way onto the west coast, bringing with it some clouds and showers and gusty winds and some big changes in our weather. Here's a look at our forecast radar as that front moves through. We'll start to see some showers developing around midnight from Moscow and Pullman up through the central panhandle. Wouldn't rule out an isolated rumble of thunder overnight. And then as we're into Wednesday morning, here's 8 o'clock Wednesday. Wednesday morning, very light rain around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Uh, that will begin tapering off by around noon and then will stay dry the rest of the day. That high temperature of 52 degrees is a big drop from today, but 53 is our average high, so we're in the ballpark. Breezy conditions with wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour overnight and through the first part of the day tomorrow. I will be back with your seven day forecast, plus some interesting things happening in the eight to 14 day outlook you're gonna wanna know about. Looks like more 70 degree weather or maybe even warmer, that's coming up. Kirsten. Ooh, ooh, there's a tease. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Well, next month, 23 million low-income households could lose a subsidy that provides their internet service. The Affordable Connectivity Program is expected to run out of funding at the end of this month. And according to the FCC, those enrolled in the program will keep getting the subsidy through April. But starting in May, internet companies will have the option to offer partial discounts using any remaining federal funding. The subsidy gives households up to $75 off of internet bills every month. And while there is some bipartisan support to continue the subsidies, lawmakers have not passed an extension. Costco is offering members access to prescription weight loss drugs, including Ozempic. The company is offering the injectables as well as oral weight loss meds through its low cost healthcare partner, Sesame. The renewable three month program includes a video consultation with a weight loss doctor or specialist and ongoing support through messaging and guidance with a healthcare provider. Here in Spokane, a Gonzaga basketball legend and co-owner of Spokane Wellness Group, Tammy Tibble, aims to give people an alternative to expensive Ozempic, offering a generic version for a fraction of the price, even without insurance. Her hope in making this medication more accessible will give people the confidence she gained when she started taking Ozempic. I was on it um, for quite a while. I lost 65 pounds. You can learn more about Spokane Wellness Group and hear from a local doctor about the impact of these weight loss drugs right now on KXLY.com. Around the Northwest in Boise, jury selection could last up to two weeks in the trial of a man accused of murdering his girlfriend's two children and his wife. Chad Daybell has pleaded not guilty. If convicted of murder, he faces the death penalty. His wife, Lori Vallow, is serving a life sentence for the same crimes in the so-called doomsday plot. Jury selection is expected to take so long because this is a capital case. The death penalty case. So they're also looking for people who might hesitate to write the name down of Chad Daybell in acknowledgement that he should get the death penalty. We found in many people in this country, they may theoretically believe in the death penalty, but it's very different when you're the person signing that letter to say someone dies. Along with the three murders, Daybell is also charged with two counts of insurance fraud. This trial is expected to last around nine weeks. 
Around the nation, major changes are coming to the U.S. rail system. The Biden administration just announced new safety measures meant to better protect rail workers, passengers, and anyone who drives over a rail crossing. CNN's Laura Aguirre explains. America's rails are safer today than they were yesterday. Safer because a new rule requiring at least two workers on every train goes into effect Tuesday, a move applauded by DC's Firefighters Association. When train lengths are approaching three miles, relying on just one single crew member is a recipe for disaster. First responders often rely on rail crew workers to give them critical hazardous cargo or mechanical information when they arrive on scene. These crew members are the first line of defense until we arrive. Secretary Pete Buttigieg says last year alone, seven rail workers were killed while on duty and nearly four dozen suffered major injuries. In February of 2023, a derailed train carrying hazardous materials in East Palestine, Ohio, burned for days, leaving the surrounding communities mired in health, environmental and political fallout to this day. More than 1,500 derailments have occurred since the East Palestine incident. For years, rail industry lobbyists have been successful in pushing back on the two worker rule at the state level. The railroad lobby said the federal government should be the one to make the rule so that there's uniformity across state lines. So here we go. Additionally, the DOT has conducted thousands of inspections on high hazard rails and crossings, issued new safety policies related to tanker cars, and improved benefits for many union workers, like paid sick days. And we are going to keep pressing Congress to pass the Railway Safety Act. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. It is going to be an almost complete rebuild for the next WSU basketball coach as even more players enter the transfer portal. Coming up, what this shrinking roster means for the future of the program. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by PAR your total home building source. For 10 years, the Fort News Now Extreme Team has been rebuilding and rejuvenating baseball fields. Is yours next? It's that time again. Go to KXOI.com and tell us why your field needs a makeover. Diamonds and Dreams brought to you by your hometown Chevy dealers and Horizon Credit Union. So what do you think about these? Oh, we like this. Yeah, we love that. When it's time for an update or complete remodel, Rebath is with you every step of the way. We're going to take everything down to the From side. design and products to removal and installation, we handle the entire process to create a beautiful and functional bathroom for whatever your life needs. Honey, you were right. Turned out Rebath, with you every step of the way. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,500 off your complete bathroom remodel. I'm Chad Young from the EasyHomeBuyer.com. Spokane Coeur d'Alene's easiest way to sell your house fast. If you have a few moments, I hope you'll give me the opportunity to make you an instant cash offer on your home. With the EasyHomeBuyer.com, we will buy your house in as-is condition with no repairs, no closing costs, and no commissions. To get your no-obligation cash offer, give us a call or visit us online at the EasyHomeBuyer.com. Pick up the phone to inquire. Call the Easy Home. Save thousands on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time sale. Friday through Sunday. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation and one day only. New 2024 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. For a limited time, Pape Machinery is blowing out select model year 2023 inventory at dealer cost. Pick up a brand new John Deere compact tractor for a fraction of the original price. Stop by Pape Machinery Ag and Turf today to get started. Next ET, only we're in France for a VIP tour of Vanderpump Villa. Plus, meet the sexy staff. Very entertaining. Well, entertaining isn't always the word I would use. Next ET. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. Freeze, TBI! These threats were targeted at you. What are you hiding? Leave this alone. Hang up! New Will Trend tonight on ABC. It is our producer's oh. favorite story of the newscast. Cute! 
cute. <laughs> How could we? We're just going to sit here on this for a little while. The newest member of the Schweitzer Avalanche dog team, this black lab named Reba. Oh. She's tasked with rescuing skiers and snowboarders in case of an emergency. Oh, a little snow on her nose there. That is adorable. Yeah, she's perfect. And what a good dog. We need them. Yes, we do. I don't need them on the blue runs, <laughs> but <laughs> they need them uh, yeah. up in the Selkirk. So. I know. We do stories every year, it seems like. There's, yes. Yeah, definitely. Oh, well, uh, we're sort of switching focuses mm. uh, as we look toward warmer weather, even though we have a big drop coming. Yeah. Uh, I see signs of 70 degree weather in the extended forecast. Let's start off, I just have to show this sunset because it is taking my breath away here over the Spokane uh, Memorial Arena right now. Got a Chiefs game, I believe, getting ready to go, but what a beautiful, beautiful sky. Our high temperature today was 73 degrees. 53 is our average high, so we were well off the mark, and we had a morning low of 45. 35 is our average morning low. Uh, very close to a record. 75, our record for today, set back in 1992. Here's a look at high temperatures across the region. We were deep into the 60s in Bonners Ferry, Sandpoint, St. Mary's, and Pullman. 71 in Ritzville did make it into the 80s in the Tri-Cities. We're going to have a big drop in temperature starting tomorrow actually could be more than 20 degrees down in the lower 50s for the next couple of days and we're into the 40s for Friday and Saturday there's a black line right here that is our average high which is uh, continuing to climb into the mid 50s through the beginning of next week 58 for a high on Tuesday so we're back up above average and then let's take a look from the Climate Prediction Center at the 8 to 14 day forecast. And maybe too much of a good thing, uh, we are going to find ourselves in these deep, deep reds indicating a strong signal of above average temperatures for that April 10th through April 16th time period. Uh, here we are, warmer than average conditions over the entire uh, western United States. And a trend toward drier than average conditions, but not an especially strong signal. Uh, so we have that going for us. Some warmer weather, but not necessarily uh, drier weather. In the short term, we do not have drier weather. Tomorrow, just a slight chance of showers, but a much better chance of rain on Thursday and Friday. That is going to continue through Saturday with a chance of showers before starting to dry off heading into Sunday. Here's a look at some of the projected rainfall totals for Wednesday. Um, just in the hundredths of an inch in most locations. Till we get down onto the Palouse, the LC Valley and the central panhandle where we see some higher totals. Here's a look at the forecast rain around the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area. It is uh, just going to be enough to maybe ruin a car wash, but that's about it. Uh, but then that better chance of beneficial rains coming in for Thursday and Friday. Then that warming and drying trend kicks off. Tuesday 58 and we'll see where we go from there. I would bet there'll be some 70s and who knows may even hit 80 degrees. See, we're turning it around. It's yeah. be, we have good news ahead. Absolutely. <laughs> and rain is always good news. It is. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Well, for the next few weeks, you can enter a raffle to win a brand new cozy den for your dog or cat. Pet Savers Doghouse Challenge is back at River Park Square, and multiple teams of carpenters, architects, and even high school students created these unique homes from scratch. By purchasing a $1 raffle ticket, you can put your name in to win one for your pet. And the best part is all of this money goes toward helping animals at Pet Savers, which is a nonprofit spay neuter clinic that helps low income families care for their pets. We all love our pets, and so obviously everybody wants to do something for their animals, but it's a fun event for the family. It's been a fun engagement during spring break, but then it also gives back to the community as a nonprofit and back to the animals. You can check out the houses on the second floor of River Park Square from now until April 22nd. Winners will be announced on the final day. 
Food waste is a problem that has captivated the country. In Washington, Spokane is leading the state with the largest food waste amount. Second Harvest is teaming up with the Washington State Food Center for Food Waste Prevention Week, and they want to teach you how to make the most of your groceries. Tune in to Good Morning Northwest tomorrow morning to learn the best ways to shop, meal plan, and store your food. Well, still to come, another Washington State basketball player has left the program. Yeah, it's kind of the pattern these days. The Cougar locker room is getting emptier by the day. We have the latest on the transfer portal news, but some good news as well in the Cougar coaching search next in sports. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 38 specials, timeless Southern Rock Hits, live at Coeur d'Alene Casino, Thursday, April 18th. Get your tickets now for one of rock and roll's biggest all-time bands. The is just the beginning. I'm Mark Peterson with the 4 News Now Extreme Team. Are you planning a home or a building remodel or repair project? Asbestos fibers may be present in roofing, insulation, flooring, ceiling textures, siding, and many other products. Whether you're a do-it-yourselfer or hiring a contractor, all parties are responsible for following the requirements. Prior to work, a survey must be done to see if asbestos is present. If it is, it must be left alone or properly removed and disposed of. Contact Spokane Clean Air for more information. When I was told I had a brain tumor, my life disappeared in a moment. I feared for my future, but even more, I feared for the ones I love. How would they move on without me? But when my doctor told me about the Gamma Knife of Spokane, everything changed. I can get my brain tumor treated in just one day and continue living the life I love. Because of Gamma Knife, I have hope. You're feeding it. I will, I promise. Thanks to our Premier Rewards Visa credit card from ICCU, we earned enough cash back to stock up on puppy supplies. But we don't have a puppy. They're very convincing children. <laughs> I'm a little over my head here. We can certainly take care of that for you. When you're looking for a company that's noteworthy, look no further. Call your friends at Mainstream Electric Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing and spend your time doing more important things. Damn straight. Scotty McCreary is spreading his fresh take throwback country to Coeur d'Alene Casino Thursday, May 2nd. Get your tickets now for one of country music's biggest stars. The is just the beginning. <laughs> 4 News Now is brought to you by Mainstream Electric Heating, Cooling, Plumbing. Washington State has found its next men's basketball coach, and he's a familiar face to the Inland Northwest. Sports Director Julian Minnesota joins us in studio now. And Julian, this news came down within the last few minutes. What can you tell us? Well, according to multiple college basketball insiders, uh, WSU is closing in on hiring Eastern Washington's David Riley as its next head coach. Reports say nothing is official, but both sides are working on an agreement. The 35-year-old Riley was the 2023 Big Sky Coach of the Year and led Eastern Washington Washington to back to back regular season conference championships. He's won more than 60% of his games during his three seasons in Cheney. Riley also has a number of all conference players that could follow him to WSU. And man, the Cougs need players right now. Another one has decided to jump ship. Oscar Clough is entering the transfer portal. He's the 10th Coug to leave the program since the season ended. Clough was one of the key newcomers for the Cougars this season. He averaged seven points a game after transferring from Cochise College in Arizona. Clough also started in a majority of the games for WSU this season. And with Clough gone, guards Jalen Wells and Isaiah Watts are the only players on the roster who played big time minutes this year. The focus for Mr. David Riley as new head coach turns to keeping those two guys in Pullman. 
The WCU women's team also took a huge hit. Reports say star, star player Charlize Ledger Walker is also entering the transfer portal. Ledger Walker missed the final two months of the season after suffering an ACL injury in January. She was one of the best players in WSU school history and in the Pac-12, earning three all-conference selections and the 2021 Pac-12 Freshman of the Year Award. Now it's week two of spring camp for Washington State football, and that means we're a step closer to finding out who the starting quarterback will be. Returner John Mateer is the assumed front runner right now. Mateer played in 11 games last season, but head coach Jake Dickert isn't just going to hand him the job. There are a number of quarterbacks on the roster, all fighting for that starting spot, including Bryant transfer Zevi Eckhaus. The QB competition is expected to last until the first week of the regular season, and Mateer is determined to be the guy. I didn't come to Washington State to sit. I came to play, right? And so all my preparation the last two years has been for this point, right? So the way I go about my business and talk to people, it's, it's not different, right? It's the same. And we'll see Mateer and the other quarterbacks in action during the Cougars' first spring scrimmage on Saturday. And first pitch for the Spokane Indians is on Friday. The team is a mix of returners and new faces. One of those new guys is Kyle Karos, the son of former MLB veteran and now baseball commentator Eric Karos. Ironically enough, the Karos family has a lake house in Coeur d'Alene, so he's familiar with the area. And Kyle's godfather is the late great Tommy Lasorda, who is a former manager of the Spokane Indians. Karos is excited to show what he could do on and off the field. I mean, that's the big thing about minor league baseball. You're normally getting sent off somewhere. Um, you're not going to see your family, but I know I'll have no shortage of company. I've already got friends and family texting me like, hey, we're going to come out. Can we stay in the house for a little bit? We'll come out and watch some games. We'll take... Now, the Indians are hosting a free fan fest from 5.30 to 7.30 tomorrow night at Avista Stadium. You get a first look at the team. That'll wrap us up for sports. Thanks, Julian. And here's a look at ABC's primetime lineup tonight. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Wait till you see what companies are doing to lure people back to the office. Next, Inside Edition. Forget about working from home. Look at this. Yoga. A game room. Wow. A speakeasy. Then, the drive-by shooting. How a little girl was saved by a fish tank. It ricocheted off the fish tank. Next, Inside Edition. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. We love our house, but lately we've been feeling a little cramped. So we talked to ICCU about a new home loan. The process was super quick, and we got a really great rate. We start house hunting tomorrow. Preferably something with a bigger garage. I'm worried about the draft. We got some bad zone control, and I, I'm concerned we're not bringing the heat. Look at this, crossover's off. We've got a weak dribble. We need a solid block, just not enough pressure. What do you think? I think I'm doing just fine. What? Bill's Heating and AC is offering financing as low as 0% for five years. Call today. For all your heating and cooling needs, leave it to the real professionals at Bill's. Hot tub. hot tub, hot tub, Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2024 inventory. Friday through Sunday, Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. New 2024 inventory. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. Come see the revolutionary swim spa in action and save up to 60%. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Worry-free installation. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. It's the sale that took the country by storm. Denver Mattress presents the smash hit Spring into Savings with fan favorites like Sealy Comfort for me and better sleep too. And don't forget a free gift for you. Save up till 150. Just be at these toys. Get four years now into response. I'm shipped free. Mazda 365 guarantee. But don't wait. Spring into Savings at Denver Mattress ends soon. Want free college or career training? It's possible. Go to wagrant.org. 
I just had to show this sunset one more time because it is so incredibly beautiful. Uh, and then it's going to be cooler tomorrow. I know. Savor it. Let's go out there. <laughs> Let's get out of this building. <laughs> See you at 11.